hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to see the top 10 vs code themes that you can use to make your vs code look visually good which you know increases productivity because you are working in an environment that suits you okay and also these themes are good because as a developer you work mostly at night so if you're choosing a wrong theme or a too high contrast theme or bright colors what happens is it starts paining in your eyes okay and you're you're being disturbed and you cannot focus because that theme is too distracting or too you know not suitable for you so we're going to see top 10 themes that according to me suits might suit you guys uh, but these themes are good i've tried them all and i like them so i'm going to talk about those 10 themes before moving forward so if you guys still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel guys make sure you subscribe i try to post every week and i've got amazing videos right here you can see top 10 vs code extensions then i'm talking about css measurement units then we have few tutorials on few things and we have flexbox and everything so make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't right now so let's back back so now we're going to see how to install a theme okay so before moving forward let's talk about how we can install a theme so if you guys know how to install extensions in VS Code, that is this button over here. So you click on it and you type out the name of the theme that you want to install and you can directly install it. Okay. So let's move forward. So if you guys go here and if you want to type out the extension name, so the first theme that we're going to see is called as community material theme. Okay. Now there's a normal material version and then there's community material version. But the only difference is it is handled by community. Community means uh, developers like us. If you want to make changes, even you can do that to this code. So that is the only difference. So once you find this community material theme, you can just click on install. Okay. Now this community material theme is not just one theme, but it's a pack of many themes together. So if you see an option here, set color theme. So these are all the colors that are offered. So you can see community material theme. Then we have high contrast darker darker high contrast pale night pale night high contrast then we have ocean and ocean high contrast lighter so this is not good see this is the theme that should not you should not be using even though you like it you should not be using it because it harms your eyes and you cannot concentrate on your work okay and the best one among these is my favorite one is this community material theme that's my current theme right now as you can see so you can also change to pale night this is also good pale night high contrast but i think the ocean ones uh, overall it's better than all of the others so this was the first theme that is community material and you can choose from various options that you have over here and you can see it highlights the code in a proper way the color is also good it's not too disturbing the next one that is shades of purple okay so we just search, uh, search for shades of purple and you can see this is the first thing that appears now you can see i have installed this theme but this is how you can install it search it over here and then just click on install okay now it's installed and you can see as soon as i install it it's set itself as uh, as my theme but now you can see that this theme is a little bit too bright if we compare it with this one it's a little bit too bright okay you can see but this is overall again a good theme because you know uh, a code looks good it's highlighted we have neon color coming up so you know overall it's a good theme and uh, you can also you know uh, use is a shortcut control key and t if you want to change any of your theme so right now if i want to sh uh, change it to shades of purple you can see here i've changed it to shades of purple now and it looks good overall it makes your code highlight in a better way you know it's readable so you can also use this theme you can check out the images also that they have given here you can see shades of purple so it's a good theme and it makes work interesting it's nice to work with this theme also moving on to the next theme that is there is ayu mirage okay so you can see here ayu mirage is a theme under this ayu so you just have to again click on install and then here you'll have this option ayu mirage again you have many options you have ayu dark you have bordered you have light light bordered and then you have mirage so again this is similar to the first theme that we had but a few things are different in it let's say this color you can see and then this text is also highlighted we have neon color over here also 
so this is again one more good theme in which you have you know options where you can choose from so you have dark dark border dark is also good but i prefer ayu mirage because the dark makes your you know uh, screen you know, as you can see on the left side it's literally not visible like it's very barely visible if you're using uh, if you can see right now okay so moving on to the next theme the next theme that we have is tokyo night this is also a very popular theme so we'll set this as a color theme and you can see here also we have three options so you have tokyo night tokyo night storm and tokyo night light so i i prefer you guys that you should not not use light theme this it's preferred that you use themes that is little bit of darker because then it might not affect your uh, sorry it will not affect your eyes and you can work on for longer time so you can see here also the text highlighting the tag highlighting is very good you can easily read out the tags you can easily read out the text you can easily find out the attribute values and the color is also given here over here that's also nice so the fourth theme we had was tokyo night moving on to the next one the next best one uh, i find it firefly so there's again two versions of firefly there's firefly normal and then there's firefly uh, firefly sorry firefly pro okay this is by ankit mishra so if we now set this theme this is a lot better this is one of my favorite themes again all of these are my favorite theme uh, themes but this is one that i find very interesting okay i i was using it for a long a long time so i'm just going to set it to firefly pro and if you check it now this theme is literally very good okay the color highlights and everything is very 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 good okay so this is the theme that i use for the longest time but then i got bored of this theme so yeah i switched back to community ocean but this is a very good theme okay so this was firefly firefly pro i'm sorry i'm not able to pronounce it properly moving on to the next one we have is dracula you can see here dracula official okay if we set this as color theme you can see it's a little bit brighter it's not that dark clearly again we'll set it from you just have to press control k and t together and here you get all the options so i'm going to set it to dracula so now you can see here also the main thing that's important is you are able to read the code and it's not causing you a lot of strain on your eyes okay so it's easily readable and you can easily you know navigate so we have dracula and dracula soft so soft is a little bit uh, different because this is this color is same only the things that we have in vs code that are different so we have dracula and dracula soft so this is another theme that is uh, really good you can see over here it's kind of similar to firefly but firefly is a little bit darker and it's uh, the colors are more you know uh, they are more better than uh, dracula moving on to the next one the next theme that we have is andromeda here you can see it's a dark theme so let's set it so here also this is also one of uh, very good themes and i also use this theme so i keep on switching between themes because i get bored of a few themes uh, if i keep them for too long so i want to switch back and forth between them so again andromeda is a good theme so you can see over here the colors are also very good for we have different red color for this tag then you have yellow and green this also makes code readable and there's this blue color that is highlighted for the elements that are there for vs code so that's also uh, very good so this is another theme that i enjoyed for the longest time okay and you have options between them again if you see andromeda you have andromeda bordered and then you have italic so the text would be italic in this and then we have andromeda colorizer so you can see it's normal vs code kind of theme and it's not really very interesting so you should not use it but then we have uh, other ones that are very nice so you can stick with andromeda basic one moving on then we have very famous theme this theme is very famous among developers because yeah we are night owls right sorry so i have to search here night owls so this is a very 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 good theme again so if you're working at late night so uh, because that's what we do right we work late at night we don't work or we work less in the morning so this theme is for night owls or developers such as us and again here also we have no italics so no italics means again the same thing then we have light and then we have light no italics so light as soon as you see this light theme the brightness is 
not good so this is also night owl is also a good theme and it makes you but the only thing that's bad in night owl is that then our the text and our tags they don't have a different color it's kind of like similar and it's harder to read between those and differentiate between them so again you can choose whichever one you want but this this night owl also uh, moving on to the next one that we have is winter is coming you are that right it's a god reference so we have a winter is coming theme and this theme is also very good so it has a little bit of glow in it it glows sometimes when you click on certain things and certain functions now as if i was to select a color, a color theme here you can see it's glowing okay when this we when we open this command palette it glows a little bit so again we have different options we have light we have dark black and the dark blue is the best one guys honestly the dark blue is the best one so you can use that also it's it's quite nice the colors are also then uh, readable okay and it looks really nice it does not affect your eyes a lot if you work even for longer hours or longer time the last one that i think is actually my favorite one is that one but i don't use it that much because yeah i like to keep it simple also so it's called synth wave sorry synth wave 84 you can see this one so this is the theme that i find the most interesting and uh, i like to use it a lot but i don't because again i can't use it for a long amount of time because then it starts to ache in my eyes and this theme is experimental up till right now so let's see how it looks so this is the theme set color theme okay so now you can see again distinctly we can figure out which are the tags which are the attributes and which are the attributes values you can also figure out the text tags in between the text and then we have this style over here and uh, one more thing that's very interesting in this is if you let's if you just open up the command palette over here control shift p and if you you know uh, check for if can check for this option enable neon dreams okay so we have to run it with admin privileges so let's try and open vs code again with admin privileges so admin privileges basically means that you have an option where you have run as administration so that that that's what you have to use run as administrator so that's what you have to use so now again what we'll do is control shift and p and here we'll enable the neon dreams that's a function that is there in this theme and now it will activate that uh, that in whatever we have done and let's just wait for some time because now i've restarted my vs code so let's again command palette and here we'll enable the neon dreams so we have to you can see it's enabled and we have to restart editor so it will restart now and after restarting you'll see an interesting thing okay so let it restart for some time and now if you check your theme you can see here the attributes are literally glowing the ending tags are literally glowing so it gives you a glow effect okay if you check out this also then you can see this is also glowing right now attributes are glowing the values are glowing the selectors are glowing so it gives us a glow effect you can see it looks really nice and this is the good thing and also the bad thing because while it looks very really good when you work uh, it looks interesting it makes you work more but if you use it for longer amount of time then it starts to pain okay so these were the themes that was there first we saw community material then we saw shades of purple and was ayu then was tokyo night then we had fire fire firefly pro then we had dracula then we had andromeda then we have night owl winter is coming and the last one was synth wave now there are two other themes that i'd like to talk about so let's just uh, type control k and t and here the theme that is there the bonus theme is solarized dark now if you check this theme let's see again solarized dark synthwave is not getting close let's just install uh, open this file once again okay
so we had to reload the pc if we wanted to end that so we just reloaded the pc and this is also a good theme it's solarized dark and it's already installed in vs code you can see it also looks much better for style sheet it has different colors for the, all the properties and then for html we have different colors okay so this was the bonus theme which was uh, solarized dark and the next theme that we have or uh, extra bonus theme is called as uh, tomorrow night blue so okay it's tomorrow night blue so this is also a good theme so all the colors that all the themes that i've shown you are darker colored blue black or any darker color because darker colors are more preferred because it is useful it's it's helpful when you work at night it helps you for working for a longer time without getting tired so yeah that's it for this video guys if you guys like this theme make sure you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and if there's any theme that i missed out and you think that this theme is also nice make sure you drop it in the comment section so that i can also try out those themes and give you a review on how these themes are so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video